What is that? What is that? Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic episode. Now, this is going to be the last episode for the Fallout Shelter Community Project until I get some better hardware because once we get over there, you will see that the frames drop quite a bit because there is a lot of entities and blocks placed down. But I would be glad to see what you guys come up with and I'm going to be giving you guys the download link in the description of the video so check it out and uh, reconstruct it if you want to and I'll be happy to see what you guys come up with. So I apologize in advance, you guys may hear my voice that I kind of am a little sick which kind of sucks but anyways we're gonna head to the vault now and I did quite a bit of changes to the vault and um, a lot of them are suggestions that you guys requested in the comments so we're just gonna head up here and um, exit the vehicle we're actually gonna throw this uh, buggy up on a lift here to give us some free frames so we're just gonna enter the vault now and we're gonna press the button here to open up the door now it's very inconvenient because that's just a switch just pretend it's like a keypad or something you could probably design a keypad but that's a little too complicated for me so here's the decontamination room, which is pretty nice looking. And then there's a button here. This button's actually not supposed to be here. This is uh, temporarily here because we don't have a second player to open up from the control room here. And this uh, door is going to open up and we're decontaminated, essentially. And then here's the control room for the door. There's like a little uh, retina scanner there. This door opens up. And these buttons control the doors and such. This yellow one controls this door here. This white one does nothing. This red one reveals a trap, just in case there's intruders. Can I come in? Wait, I'm not a robot. And this one opens and closes the door. Pretty sweet. So we're just going to head down the elevator to go to the main floor. And once we step out this elevator, you will notice a lot of changes since last episode. So as you can see at the very end of the hallway, there is actually a painting, which is pretty nice looking. I don't know if I want to keep it like that, but it looks pretty nice to me. And then in here, I added some boxes, ammo boxes and some flowers. And in the doctor's room, we actually got a painting in here. Little end table, which is a crate and a radio. Um, we got a little checkup room back here because some of you suggested that. It looks pretty nice, a little cabinet here. And in here, in the operation room, we added one special feature. There is actually a garbage chute here. Mr. Ryan? Yes. Take a seat. This ain't good. Your scrapitis is not healed yet. We need to do another operation. Sit on the table. Are you ready for this operation? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue on and we're gonna head over here and in here this is our, our generator room and I added a little filtration unit here as you can see the water comes down in there gets filtered and then goes through here which supplies it to our fallout shelter essentially not really there's no water in the game yet hopefully they add something like that in the future but I doubt they'd have a filtration system because uh, I don't think there will actually be radiation so in here this is our bathroom I added some design to the door. It looks pretty nice. I don't know how I would have um, really uh, shown it was a bathroom other than those two colors there. But in here, we got a nice um, sink area with a mirror, which looks pretty nice. And in here, we added some more stuff. But we're going to get to that at the end of the video or towards the end of the video. So we'll come back to that. And at the back here... We got our dining room, or our diner. 
I added a nice hardwood floor, which is nice. Um, kind of fits the style of a diner. And uh, that's pretty much all I added to the back here. So we're just going to head back here now. Added some flowers to the wall. And back here we have our garden or our farm. This is where we grow food and such. But if you look up, there's actually windows, which I came up with from a suggestion in the comments. And I thought it was a really good idea. Usually you wouldn't see windows inside a fallout shelter, but in this case, it is just for a short period of time. Long exposure is not recommended. So we're gonna press this button here that says danger. And as you can see up there, the windows will kind of fold back and open up, which is pretty nice. Look at that, that's sweet. Now, if this was real life, the gamma radiation would uh, get inside the vault, I believe, and cause massive damage. But since this is role play and kind of our building, it doesn't really matter. So we added some nice faucets to our garden here, added some sinks, and that's pretty much it for that room, and we're gonna head back here. Now, this door isn't actually anything at all. It is just for role play. Um, maybe once we get better hardware for my computer, I will uh, expand out that way. But for now, it's just like a locked down area that has no access way. And then back here, we got our bedroom. Pretty much the same since last time, just kind of designed it a little better. All right, so we're just gonna check out the secret entrances in the fallout shelter now. now the first one we did was this bookcase entrance. Now there's a button up here at the back of the shelf. And it will open up here. And it will take us to a small hidden area. Now there's an elevator back here which you go up. Back here there is like a little secret lounge with gaming units. And it is also the CCTV and monitoring room for the higher ups to monitor the survivors. That was suggested in the comments as well. And then back here, we got a nice kitchen. There is also a secret room back here as well. If you go up here, there is a secret button up top on the fridge, which will open up to a secret escape rocket. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm actually gonna test it out right now. Okay, here we go. And then you press one, and there we go. And we're far out of the vault, just in case we get attacked by uh, robots or raiders or something. I'll see if we can get back. So that was the hidden entrance in the lounge room behind the bookcase. And now we're going to go check out the hidden room in the bathroom. So we're going to enter the bathroom now, and once we get in there, you will see that there is a rundown stall there, which is actually a secret entrance. Now there's boots there to kind of disguise it, to make it look like you're like there's someone in there, but there actually isn't. It's just some robotic legs, I guess. I don't know what those are. And then behind the toilet paper, there's a button. Now this is going to open up, and once we look inside, you guys will notice something familiar if you played the Fallout games. So there we go. Those are actually cryogenic tubes or stasis pods that was suggested by someone. We're going to actually open those up one at a time. They pretty much open the same way. I, I wasn't sure how to actually do this properly, but they look pretty good. You can actually throw someone in there. We need you to step inside the decontamination chamber right there. Don't worry. It'll only take a second. So yeah, we got a plant in there. And the plant is pretty much just a plant that was frozen. Yeah. And then up here, there is a secret button which is really hard to see. Now if you press it, right there. You'll hear music play. What is that? What is that? So if you sneak through the vault, you will see that the vent here actually opened up. And if you guys know anything about scrap mechanic and the radios, 
this will be familiar to you. So we're going to enter and we're going to look up. What is that? <laughs> it's a farm bot. DJing some music. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. The, the, the robot's been here all this time just giving a, away our information and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's friendly, but I don't know. Anyways, if you guys see this on the wall, it'll look quite familiar. If you guys seen the armory before, there's actually a bunch of weapons on the wall. And um, there's a missing weapon here. Now, I don't think that big one would have fit here, but... I guess, in a sense, that would be kind of like a roleplay if it went missing, and then the robot has it. <laughs> so there we go. We got a hidden uh, farm bot or a egg robot DJing his music and giving uh, information out. Yeah, just jamming away on on that radio. I'm dancing. So we're just gonna leave him alone now. So there we go guys, that's all I have to show you for this build. This was the final episode to this community project. Um, I may continue it later in the future if this game gets optimized a little better or once I get my computer built. But the map is up for download in the description if you guys want to fool around on it, maybe reconstruct it, add more rooms or whatever. But I'd be interested in seeing what you guys come up with and if you want to send it to me, use this email on the screen. This project was awesome. I'm glad there was so much uh, fan interaction in the comments. Um, it was awesome reading all your guys' suggestions and feedback. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do after this build. Maybe we can do another community project like a sky base or a miniature town or something. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. And we'll try to decide together on what we should do next. So we're going to exit the vault now. Here we go, re-entering the wasteland. So that's it guys, thank you for watching and subscribing, and remember, stay sweet, bye!